Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided it would be fun to recreate my makeup from when I was a teenager in high school. It's gonna be very brief. Um, it's gonna be not good, but we're gonna do it. The 10 year challenge thing has been very popular. We're gonna go back in time a little bit. It's been 10 years since I've graduated high school. So that hurt to say. So we're just gonna jump into this video. There's really not gonna be much to it, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so I wouldn't moisturize, wouldn't prime my face. I would go straight into concealer and I would go into the more harder stuff with like, um, usually my finger. These aren't even like, so I'm gonna just take this one here, vanilla cream, and we'll hope for the best. Wanna buy fifty chocolate? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just going to take this and what I would do is pretty much like spot conceal. Um and I would take a little bit and just put it underneath my eye bags. And I pretty much did everything with my fingers too. I didn't have beauty sponges. I did not use a brush to put on foundation. I used my good old fingers. And then I would spot conceal. So like any like blemish or scar, discoloration or whatever, I would just take the concealer and just pat it over the top. I was definitely a very angsty teenager. Lots of anger problems. Skipped a lot of school, didn't do my homework. 12th grade, I actually got my shit together because all my friends pretty much dropped out. So I really didn't have anyone but myself. So I had all the time in the world to pay attention and do my work. And for the first time in my life, get honor rolls. I used the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, just like everybody else. And the shade that I used actually was this one, and it is Sandy Beige, which I don't think is going to be my color at all. I haven't used this in over 10 years. I don't know if I would use it now, but we'll see. This could be really great stuff. Or it could be terrible. I don't remember. So, so it came in this little glass jar. I think it's glass. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's my shade. So, uh, I would just go in there with pop with my fingers, and yeah, that is that is moosey. That is bringing back some memories. What? <laughs> this is so not gonna work. Oh my god. Maybe I'm like a lot paler than I used to be. I don't know. But I don't know. So literally I would just put this on with my fingers just like this. Oh. Oh lord. Remember, there was this one girl in high school. She wore foundation every day and never blended it out. That is one thing I always did, because who wants to be wearing a mask of orange foundation? Not I. And this was only on days where I actually did my makeup. If I didn't do anything at all, I would at least do eyeliner. I never left without eyeliner. I have to go to school with eyeliner. If I had forgotten it or I ran out of eyeliner, it was always literally find the nearest girl and be like, do you have any eyeliner? Always, 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 always. Luckily, someone always had eyeliner, which is so gross to say because people have germs and especially like Eye products. Oh my gosh. Do not share eye products, people. It's just so unsanitary. 
Let me just get this in my eye wings. Mommy, I have Lucky Charms. You do? Yeah. Are they magically delicious? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like the rainbow. So that is the foundation on. And on camera, it doesn't look too, too bad, but looking in the mirror, it does not look good. It really doesn't. <laughs> Would I use this foundation today? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Maybe it would look better if I actually use the sponge. And there is dimethicone in here, so it's got like that silicone -y, pore filler esque feeling to it. And it's kind of like slippery when you put it on. Next for eyeshadows, I wouldn't really do anything super crazy. Um, if I did anything at all, sometimes I really wouldn't. Um, but I would take like a neutral palette like this. Maybe it's shades like, maybe like that in it. This is from Dirty Little Secret. Not sure what this palette is, but. It's just a neutral palette. I'm doing Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. You like Tom and Jerry? Yeah. So I would be going in with this shade probably, which is called Sinful, with one of these guys. Yes. One of these bad boys. So I'm just going to go in with that. And... Yes, sweep this on my entire lid. Next I would take something like this, which is a little bit shimmery. This one is called Sassy. This is not particularly what I use, it's just something I have now that I probably would have used. So, ooh, that's too much. So I'm just gonna blend that on just my lid. Let's get something that effect and using that same same guy I would be taking something a little bit more brown tones more taupey and if I didn't have a brush I would just use my fingers so here we go I would take the liner and just draw Pretty much like that. And then flick just like that. I wouldn't do anything with my eyebrows, I would just kind of leave them as they are. Obviously, they didn't look this nice. I'm going to be using the Worth the Hype by NYX today. Next would be blush, and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the shade In a Purple Haze. And that's what it looks like to my cheeks. And on the bridge of my nose. I actually don't think that's dark enough, so I'm going to go in with something else. Let's see. What are you? What are you? Alright, this is the Feisty Amazonian Clay Blush from Tarte. Okay, that looks more like it. Okay. Perfect. For my lips, I would use something along the lines of this shade, um, lip gloss. This is Vintage by Jessica Libeskind. I think I said that right. This is in the shade Pink Sequin. It wasn't this one per se, um, but it was something quite similar to this. So, this is what I'm going to use. And here is my makeup look all complete. I had at one point hair similar to what I have now. Um, obviously I don't have, I have white hairs now. Really highlighty and blondish. Um, 
mentioned that at one point it was black, at one point it was red. Um, and I used to straighten my hair every single day. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Alright guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!